Hey, what's happening guys? This morning we're taking a look at some signals on the Tiny SA. In this particular signal that you can see right here, I'm feeding it a 7 megahertz signal. It says uh, 6.997 at minus 48.2 dBm. dBm is uh, decibels, millivolts, or milliwatts rather, milliwatts. So, the reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to get more proficient at using the uh, spectrum analyzer. And I got a couple of uh, useful boards to go with it. So I thought maybe we would take a look at those. So here's the first one. This is a little uh, attenuator board. And as you can see, it has three attenuators and a pass-through. So we got a 30 dB, 20 dB, 10 dB, and then the pass-through. And uh, what's neat about this is that you can look here and you can see the construction technique used in making these attenuators. You see we've got our SMA connector soldered on there, and then we've got some vias in there for power handling. But basically you've got uh, three tracks here. Well, two really. You got your outside ground tracks, then you have your inside signal track. And if you look at this, focus, there we go. We have two, what the value of those resistors are. Oh, I can't read it. Man, maybe you guys can. Anyway, so we've got two uh, resistors in series along with three resistors in parallel. And then just by um, altering the, the value of those resistors, they're able to change the attenuation factor. And then this final one you see is just straight through again. So... Let's, uh, let's take a look at the tiny essay once more here. Six point nine nine. It's called seven megahertz at minus forty eight dBm. All right. So what I'm going to do now? I'm going to need an SMA connector. We'll put it here on the ten side. We'll disconnect this from the signal generator and connect it to the input side over here. And finally, connect it back up to the spectrum analyzer. Now, if you remember correctly, we were at uh, minus 48 dBm. And if you look now, we're at minus 58 dBm. So yeah, that is right on. And oh, come on. Why are you doing that? There we go. You can see my setup. I'm feeding it a 7 megahertz sine wave at 0 0.005 volts peak to peak, which gave us our original minus 48 dBm. Signal comes out of that RG316 into the attenuator board and then directly into the tiny SA. So let's swap them around. That was the uh, 10 dB of attenuation. Oops. Whoopsies. Let's do uh, 20 dB. Remember, originally we were at minus 48. We just added 20 dB of attenuation. 
and we're at minus 68. One more to try, right? D minus 30. Now we're minus 77.2. So all in all, man, that is just right on there. No problem. Now, I've got another board we can take a look at, too. Even though this one's designed more as for um, a vector network analyzer, we can still use it on here for some neat effect. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder stick waterproof solder wire connectors. These are butt connector kit. They're super cool, easy to use. You can take a look here and see on the picture. We have the different colors for the different wire gauges. IP67 waterproof. And you see somebody doing it here with a heat gun. So you have the solder here in the middle that makes your electrical connection. Then you have your heat shrink and these yellow things are glue. So it really just glues everything together. They even have instructions for you. Prepare the cables, position the wire, and apply heat. Minimum solder melting temperature is 280 Fahrenheit or 138 Celsius. Minimum shriek temperature, 176 Fahrenheit or 80 degrees Celsius. There'll be a link down below for a discount where you can get these solder stick wire connectors. So here's the... Uh... RF demo kit board and you can see up here it has a low pass filter at 30 megahertz high pass filter at 100 megahertz a band pass filter at 433 megahertz a band stop filter at 6.5 megahertz then we've also got some uh, antenna tuning here we have capacitance induction inductance that uh, here we have an RC there's a LC, LCR, then we have a short, an open, a load, a through, and a minus 5, and a minus 10 dB. Oops, man, I'm always bumping the camera, attenuator. So tell you what, let's, um, let's go up here to the uh, function generator. Function generator, signal generator, arbitrary waveform generator. I use the terms all interchangeably. Yeah, they're probably not meant to be used that way, but so what? All right, 7 megahertz. Let's, let's go to, uh, we'll go to 20 megahertz. set this guy here our center frequency is now 20 megahertz there it is minus 78 dBm okay good so now let me disconnect this stuff here Get into my little uh, adapters tin here. There's the one I want right there. Let me get this hooked up. So this is the line coming from the signal generator. Put this coupler on it. Let me get these clips off of here. One second. Okay. So I've hooked up our patch cables here to the uh, 30 megahertz low pass filter. This is the out from this uh, function generator going to the in for our little demo board. Then I will disconnect here. 
and connect this one up. Okay, so. Well, let me zoom in so you can see better. So at 19.998, you know, at 20 megahertz, we have a minus 54 dBm signal. All right. Now I'm going to take it up. There's 25 megahertz. And you notice our signal is still in the same power level, right about 58, minus 58 dBm. Let's put our center frequency at 30 megahertz now. And I'm going to take this up to right exactly 30 megahertz. You can see we dropped a little bit. Minus 63. Now let's take it above 30 megahertz. This is 40 megahertz, so let's go in here and we'll put our center at 40. Yep. Very cool. What's next? What can we play with? Uh, down here and have a look. <laughs> That band stop filter is 6.5 megahertz. Let's see what that does. So, come up here. What did that say? 6.5 megahertz. So, take our function generator down. Six. Point one six point five megahertz. Then we'll set our guy here to six point five megahertz. <clears throat> and then I will endeavor to disconnect these little guys and reconnect them over here and it's not always so easy because these little these uh, RG3 I think they're 316 they are man they are stiff There's number one. Now we get number two on there. I'm just trying to find an angle where I can get it to line up. There we go. And you'll notice nothing at 6.5. So let's go. Down to 5 megahertz, we have a signal. We take it up to 7, we have a signal. At 6, we have a signal. But at 6.5, it's totally knocks it out so yeah so now I have a total attenuation available to me of 10 dB in there 30 dB here so that's 40 dB and another 10 dB here so <laughs> minus 50 dB that's not too shabby. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. Big thanks to the patrons for supporting this channel. And a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.